Hello, this is Crazy Man Seven 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 on World Tanks Tuesday once again. I have definitely upgraded my garage. I have more spaces, as I said before. I have way more tanks. If you guys want to look at it, you can just pause the video, go back, and look at all the different tanks I have. Um, another thing to note is that for the Tiger Two, I am within a reasonable distance of the E75 thanks to some free XP and some gold and I will be playing another light tank the Leopard now this is not the Leopard 1 this is just the Leopard or on the computer the VK1602 um, Basically, just a light tank, nothing that great to say about it. One thing to mention is that the VK2801 comes after it, which is a very good light tank. The best tier 6 light tank, as far as I'm concerned. And we're just going to get started here. Um, pretty, I got the luck of the draw here. We got Hamelsdorf. This is the recently added map that has also been added to the assault game mode before we only had Malinovka and Westfield to use assault mode on I am not a fan of assault mode but sadly I do actually end up playing them a lot uh, there is some lag near the beginning of this video but near to the end there is not I think um, Obviously, there is a lot of lag in this new update. Um, there have been some bug fixes, but the um, software for my game capture device might need an update at this point. Um, so, if there's lag, I do apologize. Um, I will update. And I will update anything I can tonight. And I'll just talk about news. News, uh, we did get a recent update and a recent um, bug fix. We are now in version 1.1.1. So that's awesome. We do, like I have earlier mentioned, we do have almost all of the tanks for the British lines. We are only missing artillery. A little sad because there are some really cool artillery, um, some really cool artillery tanks within that line. Uh, that's pretty much the only thing I'm missing for the um, British lines. Basically, right now I am trying to get a multitude of tanks since before I pretty much had the Tiger II and the PZ3/4, and that was kind of it. Now, what I have is I have, with the assistance of some gold, I have managed to purchase a tank from, I now have a tank going down every single line that currently exists on Xbox version, except for obviously premium tanks, which do not uh, rely on any lines whatsoever. It is a little too bad that this is a very laggy video, uh, since it was not, um, earlier when I played it, and it was also a very good game for the Leopard. Uh, I will not be doing a review on the Leopard, I will be doing it in a couple seconds here. All you need to know about the Leopard is that its, um, armor is too weak to even possibly imagine, um, caring about strategy with it. All you gotta, all you have to do is take advantage of its speed and go forward or uh, go forward and backward a lot so you probably will need some speed booster type of materials um, as any light tank you will be um, trying to spot people and as you can see there is actually not very much lag at the end of this video where I kill two people uh, as you can see, the TOG2 has been added. I haven't been doing anything on the premium tanks since we've just been adding premium tanks that you all should know. And if you just want to see what the premium tanks are for World Tanks, you can just look them up 
on images and stuff, you don't need me for that. So like I said, the uh, for its tier, the leopard is uh, very similar to the panther, where the panther does not have, bar has barely any armor, so does the leopard. The leopard does have a pretty good gun though, and a pretty good reload, so as you just saw, and as you will see. Basically, there is nothing really to accomplish with the Leopard at this point, so I will not be uh, doing a review. I've pretty much done a strategy such review just now. Like I said, you just pop in and out of corners, uh, stuff like that. Because you can't really do any deflections of anything, or of any sort. Plus, the way that games work with the Leopard, you're going to end up in really high tier matches. As well as the fact that your gun does not penetrate anything at all. Um, the only equipment that's really worth it, worth the money on the Leopard, would have to be the um, Camo Net. The Camo Net is very helpful for for going straight in front of or behind enemy lines and spotting enemy tanks. As you can see, the Leopard does bounce um, similar tiered uh, light tanks. So in a light versus light tank confrontation, you can outmaneuver as I have just done, although you will lose quite a bit of health doing so. I suggest artillery hunting. So there you go. Um, there's some news. We do have, like I said, update 1.1.1. Um, nothing exciting there except for, um, as I have mentioned last week, and I'll see you guys next time.